Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, I'm going to be teaching you how to do double digit subtraction, not juggling. I'm always trying to work on my juggling here. With double digit subtraction, there are sometimes uh, some little difficulties you get stuck on. And I got a message from a good friend, Gabriel. Gabriel wants a little bit more practice on double digit subtraction, and that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. My good friend Gabriel needs a little more help on double digit subtraction. I have a lot of videos covering this topic, but sometimes just teaching it in a different way might help. So let's take a look at a problem like this, okay? We have 52 minus 24. The first step in double digit subtraction is to always subtract the ones and then you have to regroup if you need to, and then our third step is to subtract the tens. Now, the part where a lot of people get a little stuck on is, do I need to regroup or not? So let's take a look at just these numbers right here, two and the four. So what I need to say to myself is two minus four. Can I do it? Well. Remember back in your, uh, when you were younger, you used to uh, say two take away four, all right? You used to, to say two take away four. So, and now we uh, say two minus uh, four. But take away is a good thing to go back to, all right? So that means I have two of something. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of my little tiny erasers. I have two. This is what this problem right here is saying. Two minus four. Two take away four. So I have two and you take away four. Can you do it? I only have two and you want to take away four. You can't do it because I only have two. And later on when you're dealing in um, higher mathematics you're going to learn about negative numbers but don't worry about that right now, okay? So we have two take away four and we can't do that, all right? It's not a big enough number. If I had four and you take away two, it's possible. So I need to regroup. So I'm gonna use my little tiny eraser here and erase this here. And I need to make this number bigger, all right? So I wish I could use my, my superpowers and go and make that bigger, but it's not going to work. I need to go next door, all right? Next door over to the tens, all right? And I need to borrow one of the tens. This number right here, this is actually 50, all right? So this is 50 plus two, all right? This is 52, all right? So hope I'm not confusing you. And if you get like, oh man, what, what's he talking about now? Don't worry about that, all right? This is a, the number that I need to borrow from, all right? So I'm going to borrow one from this five here. Huh? So when I borrow, I'm just borrowing one. You're always borrowing one, all right? So I take one away. So five minus one is one, two, three, four, okay? This turns to four, all right? Five minus one is four. Now I take that one, and here's the one and I put it right over here. Now, in my other videos, this is actually a 10, and you would say 10 plus two, and this would be a 12, okay? But you can just put that one right here. Just put it right next to that two, and it turns it into 12. So you don't have to say two, uh, 10 plus two is 12. So just write 12 and put a line right through here, okay? You're putting that one right next to that two, and it becomes 12, all right? I'm kind of giving you a different way to look at this. So now I have 12. I have 12 of something, and you want to take four away. Can you do it? Yeah, you can do it. So now I subtract 12 minus four. So 12 minus four is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all right? I always like to look at numbers in, uh, with dots, all right? So I put eight right here, and then I subtract the tens. Okay, so I have four minus two. 
which would be two, uno, dos. And my friend Gabriel, he knows Spanish. Hola, Gabriel, como estas? Muy bien, muy bien. Okay, let's do another problem. Ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Boom. Okay, take a look at this problem. If you want to, go ahead and try to do it. But when you're looking at the ones, remember we need to subtract the ones first. I'm trying to trick you here. What's going on there? Yeah, you're noticing that this number here on top is bigger. That means that this is seven, take away five. You have seven pieces of candy and you want to take away five of them. Can you do it? Sure. I'm going to be a little sad because I'm missing some of my candy, but you're taking five pieces of candy away from my seven. Okay. So you don't need to regroup. All right. So basically you just subtract seven minus five, five, six, seven. All right. Put the two here, uno, dos. And now you go right here. You don't have to regroup anything. Now we subtract six minus two. What is that? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Very good. Four. 67 minus 25 equals 42. Let's do one more. Yeah. Boom. Okay, here we have our problem. 74 minus 35. What I want you to do right now is go ahead and do this problem. Hit pause. And when you're ready to begin again, hit play. All right, here we are. All right, now, what do we do? Remember, subtract the ones first. Can we do it? Is this number up here big enough? We have to say four, take away five, all right? Remember, this number right here has to be bigger than the number on the bottom. Four, take away five, you can't do it. You need to make that number bigger, all right? So I go over here, borrow one from the tens place, the seven, so seven minus one is Six, just count back one from seven, all right? So I can't, I was gonna try to write on the board here, my cap is on there. Okay, come on, math teacher. So I put a six right here, and then I take that one that I had, got from the, the seven, bring it over here, just write it right there. Bring that number right on top of there. It's the same as saying 10 plus four is 14, but you just put that one here and the number up there, all right? Making it a little bit more easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy for you. I put the line through the four, and now I can subtract 14 minus five. What is it? Yeah, you're right, nine. So I put the nine right here, subtract the tens, six minus three, uno, dos, tres, yes, muy bien, muy bien, excelente, fantastico. You did a very good job. I'm hoping that this might have helped a little bit. In mathematics, when we do mathematics, don't get frustrated. Sometimes you come up against a problem and you get a little bit stuck on it and you just have to find a different way on how to find the answer, the solution. In mathematics, the wonderful thing is that there's so many different ways on how to find the answer. So um, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you had a great day. And like always, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Adios.